Chapter 1. Your blood is important in more ways than one. You might assume that blood is blood. It runs through your veins, it's pumped by your heart and nourishes cells and organs throughout the body. Of course, blood is pretty important. Without it, you would die. But have you ever stopped to think about how your blood may contribute to your overall health and the different types of blood that exist? Many people are significantly squeamish when it comes to blood, just one side of the red stuff, and they turn a rather fetching shade of green. Yet blood is nothing to be nervous about. It's something to be interested in. It's a substance that nourishes life, ensures longevity, and gives scientists a window to past human life. Blood types provide an insight into the history of humanity, unlike any other scientific discovery. In this case, blood certainly isn't just blood. Blood is a vital life force for survival, but blood types can be studied to improve general health and well-being. Throughout this summary, Dr. Peter Diamo postulates that certain types of food might be healthier for certain blood groups than others. Within that, it is also the case that whatever you eat reacts with your blood, and if it is not compatible, you will not get the appropriate amount of nutrients from it. You might not know what your blood type is, but after reading this content, you'll no doubt be moved to find out. Then, you can tailor your lifestyle to try and make the most of your health, making sure that you absorb all the nutrients you need for overall health and well-being. In this summary, you will learn more about different blood types, how they interact with the foods you eat, and the history of civilization learned through different blood types. By the end of this summary, you will be left under no illusions that blood is not just wet, red stuff that pumps around your body. You'll understand its true significance and perhaps even gain a new interest in this vital bodily substance. Chapter 2 the interaction between blood and certain substances has remained a point of interest for centuries. It first started with the discovery of blood transfusion, which had varying degrees of success, from miraculous to disastrous. In 1888, a researcher named Herman Stillmark decided to stop using animals as test subjects for his experiments. Instead, he chose to use cell cultures and soon discovered that when he mixed red blood cells with extracts from castor seeds, they clumped together, agglutinated. He went on to discover more substances, agglutinating toxins, and made strides in the field of immunology. Discoveries about the mysteries of blood were first made in 1888 in a funny accident. With the help of previous discoveries by German bacteriologist Pat Elrich, Dr. Carl Landsteiner discovered the ABO blood group antigens and antibodies, for which he won a Nobel Prize in 1930. He observed that red blood cells from some subjects did not agglutinate while they did in others. From this, he deduced the A, B, AB, and O blood groups. However, in 1945, William Clauser Boyd, Ph.D., made an interesting discovery. He discovered that some agglutinins could be blood group specific, meaning it would clump the blood in one type and not do the same in another. For example, the agglutinin found in lima beans worked on only type A red blood cells and did nothing to the rest of the blood groups. The identification of blood groups was made easier by the presence of certain chemicals. Arthropologists began to take advantage of these discoveries and information about humanity to understand our past further. Information about our past was largely derived through records kept. To go further back, before the invention of writing, scientists had to get creative. Through the passage of time and the impermanence of objects, especially our bodies, we have lost a ton of information about the past. It seems the history of our race is an empty book with few filled pages. However, through science and decades of research and discoveries, 
we have attained a handy tool to decode our past. Not only does a regular, intense exercise program elevate spirits, it enables the type O to maintain weight control, emotional balance, and strong self-esteem. Dr. Peter J. Diamo. Chapter 3 Biological markers, such as blood groups, have provided us with deep insight into our past. Each blood type metabolizes food differently and interacts with outside sources, such as parasites. Different blood types also come with varying degrees of susceptibility, playing a major role in modern-day blood type distribution. One might say it is a map with which we can read the past. Blood interacts differently with endemic bacteria strictly based on the group. It is worth noting that just about every major infectious disease that ran amok before the discovery of antibiotics has ABO blood group preferences of one group or another. Actually, many microbes have their versions of ABO blood types. This can cause complications because, for example, a bacterium with an antigen on its surface that imitates the blood group A antigen would easily infect an individual whose blood type is A. Each blood type has had its point in history where the conditions favored them. Type O during the rise of humans to the top of the food chain. Type A during the change from a hunter-gatherer society to an agricultural-based diet and type B and AB during the continuous mingling of populations and migrations. In the 1960s, the author's father, James Diamo, N.D., was the first to come forward with the theory that ABO blood groups can be used to learn the most beneficial diet for any individual. He observed that although most of his patients benefited greatly from a vegetarian and low-fat diet, some did not improve or even got worse. Driven to unravel the reason behind this phenomenon, he dedicated his life to finding the answer. After years, he noticed a pattern. Patients with type A blood seemed to do splendidly well when on a vegetarian diet, while patients with type O thrived on an animal-based diet, especially meat. James Diamo, N.D., compiled his finds and published it all in a book titled One Man's Food. Inspired by his father's work, Dr. Peter Diamo spent 20 years researching with particular attention on blood groups, specific diets, and their effects on digestion and immunity. We can pinpoint the diet best suited for us based on our blood groups. Chapter 4 through chemical analysis, the group O antigen is the simplest of the blood groups. Many studies have taken place over the years concerning blood groups. Several of these studies suggested that humans were exclusively group O for the greater part of humanity's existence. The high occurrence of group O in ancient and isolated populations testifies to its antiqueness. Many theories of human evolution link the expansion of the brain with a switch to a meat-rich diet. As humans got smarter, they became more efficient at hunting big game, leading to the availability of a lot of protein-rich meat. As we evolved, we got better at securing prey rich in protein due to our increasing intelligence. At this point, Humans had a carnivorous diet that the digestive attribute of blood group O proved incredibly beneficial. The highly efficient production of acid and pepsin was perfect for the digestion of meat. Along with other factors, the depletion of large game populations in Africa caused early human ancestors to migrate out in search of more food. Thus, the world was populated with blood group O. Humans are susceptible to various illnesses solely because of their blood groups. Each blood group has strengths, weaknesses, and conditions under which they thrive or fail. The main cons of blood group O are a special risk for inflammatory diseases which affect the elderly. 
Although the stomach of blood group O is perfect for digesting meat, it is prone to ulcers due to significant levels of free hydrochloric acid found in it. Known to have a higher incidence of thyroid disease and hyperthyroidism compared to the rest of the ABO group. Yet, some pros include, blood group O has the lowest incidence of gallstones disease of the bile ducts, jaundice, and cirrhosis of the liver, a lower risk of influenza, a very low proclivity to periodontal disease, also known as gum disease. Dr. Peter Diamo suggests that certain foods are harmful to specific blood groups, while others are highly beneficial. Here is a list of some useful diets for blood group O. Beneficial diet. Beef, buffalo meat, heart, lamb, liver, mutton, veal, venison, bass. Neutral diet. Duck egg, black bean, lima bean, soybean, tofu, hazelnut, sesame seed. Harmful diet. Cheese, ice cream, milk. Yogurt, whey, peanut or peanut butter, corn, beer, coffee, liquor. Did you know? Dr. Peter Diamo stated that about one in five people admitted to the hospital would need blood. Chapter 5 The rise of civilization and urbanization go hand in hand with the increase of blood group A. The dwindling population of big game and the newfound ability to cultivate grains and livestock encouraged the abandoning of humans' nomadic lifestyle and promoted a sedentary lifestyle. A previously mobile species is now faced with the challenges of living in a structured society. This saw the growth of the first cities, which allowed dense population concentrations. The drastic change in diet caused a new mutation in the digestive and immune systems. Carriers of blood group A began to appear as the conditions were incredibly favorable for survival. A slight change in our diet can cause a significant alteration to our health. Slowly, humans lost their ability to digest the carnivorous diet of the pre-agricultural period. The blood group A variant allowed humans to tolerate and better assimilate grains and other agricultural products. Dr. Peter J. Diamo When affiliated with densely populated places, it is no surprise that they are more resistant to infections common in those areas. As a result of a shift from the initial carnivorous to a more agrarian diet, People tend to have low stomach acid levels as high acid levels are not required to digest vegetables, grains, and other animal produce, meaning they are not prone to ulcers as they have moderate levels of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Although with the coming of old age, blood group A will experience a decline in stomach acid levels causing digestive problems. Hepatitis and common tropical infections of the liver that cause fibrosis or scarring appear much more frequently in blood group A than in any other group. It has also been found that pseudonoma ceruginosa, the cause of otitis externa, ear infection, or swimmer's ear, has specificity for blood group A. Even otitis media, childhood ear infection, is more prone to blood group A. Here is a list of beneficial and harmful foods for blood group A. Beneficial diet. Carp, cod, monkfish, perch, pollock, sardine, salmon, snail, fava bean, black eye pea, adzuki bean, lentil, soybean, peanut or peanut butter, artichoke flour or pasta, oat, rye, carrot, collard greens. Neutral diet, jicama, chicken, grouse, bass, butterfish, mullet, pike, tilapia, farmer cheese, feta cheese, goat cheese, yogurt, egg, almonds. Harmful diet, bacon, beef, buffalo, duck, 
mutton, veal, venison, bass, lobster, cheese, whey, cashew, Brazil nut, wheat, mushroom, olive. Chapter 5. Blood Group B differs as it was influenced by climatic changes. Humans originally belonged on the flat tropical savanna, but due to overhunting and overpopulation, they had to search for better food sources, causing them to migrate. The harsh conditions they found themselves in when they arrived at colder, drier, and more mountainous areas of the Indian subcontinent and the barren plains of the Central Asian steppes influenced the mutation of genes that brought blood group B into existence. This fact separates blood group B from other groups as it's the only one that developed in this way. Due to the emergence of harsher climates, blood group B thrived and grew. It is not far-fetched to say that blood group B may have been the only blood group capable of surviving in such a harsh environment. Nomadic is often used to describe the early carriers of this gene. They were heavily dependent on herding and dairy products. While we can't definitively say that every single person who lived in this way was blood group B, it is likely to be the case for several of the best survivors. Possessing all the qualities that help them survive in harsh environments, blood group B has its weaknesses like all other groups. There is proof that this type tends to contract unusual, slow-growing viral and neurological disorders, like amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. They are prone to suffer from a cerebral aneurysm and asthma as well. While there is no certainty that a person with group B blood will end up down this path, there is a higher risk factor than other blood types. However, this blood group is less prone to arthritis, fibromyalgia, and certain types of cancer. Here is a list of harmful and beneficial foods for blood group B. Beneficial diet. Goat, lamb, mutton, rabbit, venison, caviar, croaker, cod, mackerel, sardine, cottage cheese, goat cheese, milk, yogurt, kidney bean, lima bean, millet, oat, rice, beef, carrot. Neutral diet. Beef, buffalo, liver, pheasant, turkey, carp, herring, mullet, perch, butter, wheat, chicken egg, copper bean, snap bean, soybean, almond, barley. Harmful diet. Bacon, chicken, duck, goose, veal, bass, crab, Lobster, egg, lentil, wheat, olive, radish, tomato. Chapter 7. Blood group AB is the most recent type. The next blood group is AB, a particularly rare type. Blood group AB is considered the most recent blood group and a human invention. Blood group AB came into existence due to the intermingling between blood group A and blood group B through either migration or invasion. Blood group AB is known for its high tolerance level. Having both A and B antigens makes it recognize anything A-like or B-like as part of itself. Unfortunately, those with blood group AB are the most likely to suffer from cancer. The plus point? Overall, viruses tend to have a lower impact on this type of blood, perhaps because it developed differently from other blood types. All blood groups have pros and cons, but the biggest con of group AB is perhaps that people with this blood type are at a greater risk of heart disease. That makes it even more important to focus on a healthy diet and exercise to reduce this risk and focus on overall health and well-being. By ensuring you eat healthy foods and avoid the foods that are more likely to trigger issues, you can look forward to a healthier life. 
The blood group AB is more tolerant to allergies and autoimmune diseases. There is a significant absence of hepatitis B virus antigen in the blood group AB, making them more susceptible to the more virulent forms of this disease. The weaknesses and strengths of A and B are brought in full force to those with the AB group. To complete the information on different blood groups, here is a list of some foods that are beneficial and harmful for blood group AB. These diets and foods will help you mitigate the risks and obtain the benefits of this rare blood type. Beneficial diet Turkey, cod, grouper, monkfish, pike, pickerel, salmon, sardine, snail, tuna, cottage cheese, milk, yogurt, lentil, walnut, millet, oat, rye. Neutral diet Kelp, ginger, cucumber juice, carrot, agar, wheat, barley, flax seed, cashew, Brazil nut, almond milk, white beans. Harmful diet Beef, chicken, duck, buffalo, crab, haddock, oyster, shrimp, black eye pea, kidney bean, lima bean, sorghum, capers. Conclusion The ABO blood group provides a convenient structure to theorize a diet plan for individuals, and the effects have been widespread and positive. Yet, despite the enthusiastic effort of Dr. Peter Diamo, the scientific community is reluctant to accept the theory based on the lack of sufficient supporting evidence. As of 2013, there was a review of thousands of studies on the health effects of the blood type diet, and not a single one was deemed well-formed and accurate. While a lot of studies show the recommended diets to improve overall health, for example, the type A diet, which involves a lot of vegetables and fruits, proved highly beneficial to health, but it was not inclusive to any blood group. Just about anyone got healthier from undergoing the diet. Therefore, while there is nothing inherently wrong with diets, there is no strong evidence of a blood type link with diet. Although there is no direct link to blood groups and our respective diets, one thing that is surefire to improve your immunity is a healthy exercise routine. Matching this with a healthy diet is key to living a wholesome life. There is indeed no one-size-fits-all answer to diets. You may be a specific blood group and find that the matched diets on the list don't work that well for you. Perhaps you have an intolerance or a sensitivity that simply doesn't work hand-in-hand hand with the suggestions. In that case, a journal will help you find out what foods help you and which hinder you. Then you can work toward optimum health that fits the bill for you and you alone. Try this. If you are unsure of your blood group, a simple visit to your doctor and a quick blood test will tell you. Different diets work for different people. A vegetarian diet might work for some, while a meat-rich diet might work for others. For that reason, try different foods and see what works for you. A food journal is a good way to track your progress and see if you notice any positive or negative effects.